Alright everybody, welcome to some Pokemon Blue playthrough. It is I, Xylestar, and today we're going to be playing Pokemon Blue. As I said during Pokemon Red, we're now going to be doing this. Uh, I kind of messed up on the last Pokemon Red session, where I ended up thinking that, uh, for some reason, that I had enough, uh, that with the combined of the two videos before the training and after, and all that kind of uh, long footage kind of thing that I thought I had enough for 16 minutes for every video I was horribly wrong so hooray for that so I am just going to pull up uh, one thing for here before we start off real quick there we go that's all I just want to so I just want to pull up for now Okay, so the thing is, is that we're now going to be playing uh, with a Squirtle instead. Uh, hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, people call me the best Pokemon prof. Yep, this world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. So if you don't know how the Pokemon Blue portion is going to work, uh, this is going to be sort of the TLDR, but pretty much we're going to be doing the exact same things as the Charizard run from Pokemon Red. The only difference is the catching of the three legendary birds and Mewtwo are going to be done off screen, but they will be captured. Uh, because of the fact that I'm not going to go through the same sort of portion as hey, we're going to try and end up catching it with a Pokeball on screen again. I'm going to go do that on my own time, which will give me more than enough time to just go start going ham with Pokemon Blue. So, yeah. So, pretty much, this run is going to be the same thing as Pokemon Red. Uh, again, the only difference is the legendaries won't be captured on screen. They'll be captured off screen, or they won't be captured at all during the play th uh, playthrough. Uh, we are allowed to catch and use Pokemon for certain HMs because we need HMs to be able to traverse through Kanto. So obviously we need to go do that. Uh, as I did through the last run, I kind of waited to get a Pokemon that can use Fly. Specifically just for the Legendary Birds because I knew I was... Because they're Flying type, they're obviously they're going to be able to fly, right? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch a Flying type early kind of thing in this time. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Pokemon are pads, others use them for fights. Yes, that's what we're going to use it for. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Cool story, bro. Uh, first, what is your name? We're going to name it as Drathus again, because why not? Oh, wait, lowercase. Yeah, lowercase, man. Lowercase. I love it's like, we already have a Drathus uh, like th that has the same spelling, too. Weird. <laughs> How come I have a feeling that it's not how I spell Drathus for some reason? <laughs> uh, is it... How come I get the feeling that it's not how I spell Drathus? No, that's how you spell it. Did I mess up during Pokemon Red? I'll have to go back, but I don't think I messed up. Oh, that's kind of weird. Alright, whatever. Now it's how you spell Drathus, in case I did mess up. So your name is Drathus? Yes, it is. This is my grandson. He's been a rival since you were a baby. Yeah, uh, what is his name again? His name is Arkmus. I'm not going to change much of anything. He's going to be Arkmus because why not? <laughs> really? Uh, let's see here. Where is he? There you go. Arkmus. There you go. That's right, I remember now. His name is Arkmus. Drathus! Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures where Pokemon awaits. Let's go. So I'm going to also try not go and speed up as much as possible. No promises, though. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I have this whole Squirtle thing pulled up just in case I need it. But I want to take a second here and type in Blastoise. I hope I actually remember how to spell it. 
Awesome, I did. Okay, so... The thing is, is that Blastoise has more of a move pool that we can use. Okay, so the so the problem with how this game sort of... How the Generation 1 games work is that they don't give my boy Bulbasaur enough moves to actually go and do a lot during the Elite Four. And not just the Elite Four, but all of the gyms. So we have sort of a problem with Bulbasaur with being there. So that's why I kind of just said no to this kind of thing to actually just say yeah we're gonna go and use Bulbasaur and it's gonna be you know he's gonna take the champion ring uh Bulbasaur actually got a hold of I don't want to say better moves but just got better moves in general uh he definitely would have been like my first choice of actually doing this because I actually love using Venusaur against stuff like this plus it, he actually helps out a lot because you can give him sleep powder and poison powder and all that kind of stuff so let's go into the grass Hey, wait, don't go out. Oh my god, who said that? Oh, I forgot to change the settings. It's unsafe. Well, Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Okay. Oh, I was going to change my settings now. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Octopus? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come out. <laughs> to come here. Just wait. Here, Drathus. There are three Pokemon here. Haha. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps. What about me? Be patient, Arcmas. You can have one, too. Yeah, Arcmas. Piece of trash. I don't know. I forget which one was Bulbas or <laughs> which one everyone is. So you want the fire Pokemon Charmander. Nope, we've already beat the game with Charmander only. So now we're going to beat it with Squirtle. So something that's really funny is that I played Pokemon Fire Red with uh, Charmander only and a Squirtle only, with only minor exceptions of having like a Pidgey for Fly kind of thing. Uh, funny thing. Charmander never fainted once, uh, but Squirtle did, I think, or was vice versa. I know one of them fainted, the other one didn't, but they never fainted uh, all the way up until the Elite Four, where they never, where, well, where I beat the game with them, so there was no point in keeping track of that. Which was hilarious. I was laughing the entire time. I was like, wow. So I'm trying to look at their move pool a little bit here. So we want the Pokemon Squirtle. Yeah. This Pokemon is really energetic. We received Squirtle. Do you want to give it a nickname to Squirtle? Yes. I'm going to name it Squirts because I don't really care. No. Lowercase character. There we go. Or lowercase keyboard. I'm just gonna spell it just like they have it here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not that original. I understand this. <laughs> I'm not that great at nicknames, but who cares? Because I think it's cute to name it Squirts. <laughs> Alright, and he's gonna choose Bulbasaur, which is kind of good for us in a way because Bulbasaur doesn't learn any really good moves, which is sad. As I said, I would have loved to use him, but that's fine. I'll take this one then. Arcmas received a Bulbasaur. You should have received the Charmander. <laughs> okay, first things first. Let's go change the options a little bit. So let's change text speed to to slow. Yes. Uh, battle animation. Sure, we'll set it to on. Not like there's a lot. Anyway, battle style set. There you go. I also apologize for the last Pokemon Run session as well because like. I didn't realize this, but the game volume was really, really loud. And I had no idea it was that loud, because I wasn't paying attention to the uh, to the game sound volume. I was just more worried about my microphone volume. So I apologize for that. Uh, I'm also going to save, just because... I don't know. <laughs> I always like to save after this. Wait, Drathus, let's check out our Pokemon. 
Come on, I'll take you on. Sure, you can take me on. Okay, let's see here. Oh, sorry. Still not paying attention to this. To this battle at all. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, tail whip. Which is going to help us a lot. Okay. I wanted to use tail whip so I do extra damage. But apparently that didn't work. Yeah, here's where that negative one starts to bite me in the... Yeah, this is where Growl starts to actually sort of... Whoa, we're speed tied. <laughs> I missed. Thank you, game. Yeah. Yeah. See, well, this isn't where I think Squirtle ended up dying, so let's reset that. Let's 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 pretend that, that never happened. Oops! Come on! Come on! Speed up! There we go. All right. Let's pretend that never happened. All right. Let's go back. Don't use. Don't use Growl. <laughs> that was the whole reason why we lost last time. Final tail up again. Why are you growling now? What is with the whole thing of growling now? There we go, tail whip again. How come we're speed tied though? That's the part I don't understand. And we got a critical hit. And you got a critical hit. Of course he did. So he has negative three defense. Doesn't really matter. I have negative two attack. But I'm hoping that that might be enough, sort of, to, like, take the victory right out of, right under him. No crit. Okay, now we just need to outspeed or he uses Growl. Okay. Please be enough. And we win. There we go, Squirts. I don't, I don't know why everybody thinks that Squirts lost. He didn't lose. See, he won. Here we go. What? Unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon and the wrong timeline. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Trathus, Dram, Gramps, Tramps. <laughs> I tried to merge Trathus with Gramps. See you later. Okay. Now that that happened, did he fully restore Squirt? He did. Okay, so let's go train a little bit. Squirts needs the training. So, uh, we need to get up to what level does he learn bubble at? Or water gun, whichever one it's supposed to be. It's one of the two. Level eight. Oh yeah, this is the game where they have really weird levels for their next move. Oh, and tackle has a chance of missing too. It has a 5% chance of missing. Plus, it only has 35 power, so it's not that really great. I wonder if Scratch is perfect, and that's probably why I never had a... Or Scratch was, like, powerful or something like that. That might be something that I might want to look into as well, because that might be why I had an easier time with Charmander than I did with uh, Squirtle. I'm gonna do it was Gen 3, so I was able to give Charizard like Dragon Claw, which was awesome. Uh, let's see here. Charmander. Yeah, Scratch is stronger. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. So, this is the Gen 1 move pool thing for Charmander which I can definitely like agree with because th this is pretty much what it looks like anyway so Scratch has 40 base power and accuracy I think even if you look at the now generations that's still normal yeah I'm looking at generation 8 and that's the normal for Scratch Okay, but if we look at Generation 1, that doesn't change. But for Tackle, 
tackle has received many, many changes over the years. Uh, let's see here. No, stop it. There you go. Tackle deals damage and has no secondary effect. And then from generation 5 and onwards. So it didn't even receive it right away. It was generation 5 that they decided to change it. From 5 and 6, Tackle was changed to have 50 base power and 100% accuracy. That's amazing. Just imagine getting like a small buff like that. <laughs> That's amazing. And then from generation 7 and onward, it they downgraded it so it's just like scratch. But see, this seems like something they would have changed for like second generation. Just to make it like better. I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> just seems kind of weird though that it's just like, yeah.